Welcome to Astro Tina. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Today's horoscope for September 2024. September 2024 brings a dynamic blend of challenges and opportunities for Aries. With Saturn retrograde in your 11th house, you'll see an uptake in your financial situation but it will require careful management. Saturn's influence will push you to explore multiple income streams, ensuring steady cash flow throughout the month. At the same time, the Saturn's position in your fifth house at the start of the month will shine a light on your 11th house, further easing financial concerns and bringing unexpected gains. However, be prepared for a demanding month when it comes to your professional life. The early days may feel particularly tough for those in business due to Venus's challenging position, influenced by Rahu, Ketu, Mars, and Jupiter. But don't despair. Venus will shift to your seventh house in Libra by September 18th, signaling the beginning of a more favorable period for your business endeavors. Students will find this month beneficial with the potential to achieve academic success through hard work, thanks to supportive planetary configuration. While love and marriage may see some ups and downs, your efforts to maintain harmony will pay off, especially in the latter half of the month. Family life will remain stable, but health needs close attention throughout September. Regarding career, this month could be a significant turning point in your career, but it won't be without any hurdles. Saturn, the ruler of your 10th house, is retrograde and positioned in your 11th house, casting a challenging influence that may bring obstacles in your professional life. The sun's placement in your 5th house at the start of the month may create tension at work. Demanding extra effort on your part, you'll need to stay vigilant as misunderstandings with colleagues and bosses could arise, particularly in the first half of the month when the sun's and Saturn's energies clash. On September 16th, the sun moves into your sixth house in Virgo, where its influence will gradually bring new job opportunities and a more favorable work environment. However, be cautious of Rahu's impact which could still cause some unforeseen issues. Avoid getting into office politics and keep a low profile to navigate this period smoothly. The second half of the month will bring more stability, especially for business owners. After September 18th, when Venus moves into your seventh house in Libra, you'll find it easier to implement your business plans and see progress. This shift will also help you to resolve any ongoing disputes and start new ventures with renewed energy. Now, moving on to finance. September promises financial growth, but it's also requiring great careful planning. With retrograde Saturn in your 11th house, your income will remain steady and you may find new opportunities for wealth accumulation. However, the presence of Rahu in your 12th house throughout the month could lead to unexpected expenses. So it's essential to keep your spending in check. The sun in your fifth house early in the month will bring some financial rewards, possibly through government channels or other authoritative sources. From mid-September onwards, be careful, be cautious with your finances. The sun's move into your sixth house on September 16th and Mercury's transition on September 23rd will intensify your expenses. So if you're not mindful, these could outpace your income. It's crucial to budget carefully and avoid unnecessary spending, especially in the latter half of the month. This period is not ideal for risky financial decisions or investments. Instead, focus on maintaining a balanced approach to your finances. Now moving on to health. Your health may face some challenges this month, requiring you to be extra vigilant. Mars, the ruler of your sign, will be in your third house, bolstering your courage and physical strength, which will help mitigate some health concerns. However, with Venus, the ruler of your second and seventh houses, debilitated in the sixth house alongside with Ketu, you could see some health issues related to your digestive system, stomach-related issues. Those with diabetes should be particularly cautious as planetary influences could exacerbate these conditions. Now, maintaining a healthy diet and sticking to your prescribed prescriptions will be crucial to managing your health this month. The second half of September may bring some relief as Venus moves out of your sixth house, 
but with the sun and mercury also entering this house, the risk of health issues persists. So prioritize your well-being by adapting a disciplined lifestyle, including regular exercise and stress management techniques to navigate this period without major setbacks in your health. Now for love, marriage, and personal relations. For those in love, September begins on a positive note with the sun and mercury in your fifth house, enhancing your emotional connection with your partner. Communication will flow more easily and you'll find it easier to express your feelings. However, be mindful of Saturn's retrograde influence on your fifth house which may cause external pressures or misunderstandings to creep into your relationship. It's advisable to keep your love life private and avoid discussing it with others to prevent potential complications. Now, as the sun moves into your sixth house on September 16th, tensions may arise, leading to possible disagreements with your partner. These could be compounded by Mercury's entry into the same house on September 23rd. To maintain harmony, focus on improving mutual understanding and avoid actions that could damage your reputation or your relationship. For married individuals, the first half of the month could be rocky, with Venus afflicted in the sixth house, leading to mis miscommunication and tension. However, after September 18, when Venus returns to the seventh house in Libra, things will start to improve. So make an effort to spend quality time with your spouse and consider thoughtful gestures or small surprises to strengthen your bond. Now looking at family and friends. Family life in September will be a mixed bag. The month starts with Venus, the ruler of your second house, afflicted in the sixth house, which could stir up some domestic issues or property-related disputes. However, Jupiter's favorable position will offer solutions to these problems, helping to restore peace in your household by the month's end. The first half of September might be tense, with some stress affecting your family dynamics, particularly concerning your mother's health. It's important to monitor her well-being closely during this time. Now, as the month progresses, the atmosphere at home will become lighter, and any health concerns will start to fade. Although you may have some disagreements with your siblings early on, these conflicts are likely to resolve and your relationship with them will improve. Supporting them during this time is crucial for maintaining family harmony. So overall, there will be some challenges. Staying patient and communicative will help you to navigate ups and downs with family life this month. So the theme for you, Aries, is that it's a good time to start a new venture, to plan something new, starting a new business, any new business ideas. This is a great time for planning and starting that. It's also a time where you will also improve the relationships with your neighbors and with your siblings. So it's a better time to put some effort into those relationships. If you have been having issues in the past, this is a good time to improve those relationships. And September is also a month where you need to be careful of your spouse's health. And also it would be advisable to avoid any arguments with your children or with your spouse, especially till the 17th of September. Now, some crucial dates that you must be careful is um, the 1st to the 5th. This is going to be a stressful time for you. And you might want to keep any decisions pending as they won't be in your favor or you'll make the wrong decisions during this time. Um, from the 6th to the 11th, your career graph is looking good. Um, if you're elderly and you have grandchildren, this is also a great time to spend with your grandchildren. It's also a very lucky time for you. Moving on to the 12th to the 17th, this is great for job opportunities, and you'll see that your prestige will rise. From the 18th to the 23rd, it's a great time to further invest, and it's a great time with your friends, a time to enjoy yourself. And the 24th to the 29th, now this is the most stressful time, okay? So keep this um, these days where um, if you have any decisions that you need to make, keep them pending. Okay, um, you might feel a little bit lonely and low during this time. And this is a time where you need to be careful of your enemies. If you have any court cases, this is also a time where you might want to like postpone those dates because these dates are not good for court cases and any kind of legal action against you. Um, this is also a time where you could get used. Okay, so somebody could manipulate you into taking a decision that you normally wouldn't take. So your decision making ability isn't the best here. So you could make a bad choice, bad decision here. And if you're working hard towards something or you're doing something, 
something, someone else can take the credit of your work. Okay, so you need to be careful from the 24th to the 29th. Now, the 30th and the 31st, this is where you rectify your actions and mistakes that you made during the 24th to the 29th. You're going to look back, you're going to reflect, and you're going to see this is where I went wrong. Otherwise, 30th and 31st, they're very good days for you. And looking at important dates, the 20th is a great day for any kind of love um, activity you might have. It's a great day with your spouse or your loved one. Um, if you're looking to get married or to propose, after the 18th is really favorable. For students, from the 6th to the 11th, you'll see that you are more focused, you do well in your studies, you're having a good time with your friends. It's a really good time from the 6th to the 11th. Um, if you're looking for new job opportunities or you're looking for a raise or promotion or you're looking to do well at your job and your career, then the 12th to the 17th is very favorable. If you're looking to start a new business, new venture, new business ideas, this is definitely a good month for that. You do need to be careful with your health. You do need to be careful till the 17th of September. And for share market, you can further invest um, on the 19th, the 20th, the 23rd. Those are great days to further invest your funds. Do take financial advice from someone who is an expert. So there you go, Aries. That was your September 2024. Mark down the important dates in your calendar so that you can uh, be cautious when you need to be and take opportunities when they, they present themselves. So there you go, Aries natives. That was September 2024. If you've enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to press that bell notification so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you.